hours because I don't get enough of this. So um, one thing I wanted to talk about was ex what's going on right now with COVID and all the restrictions that are being placed. Um, a lot of our kiddos, depending on their level of understanding or not understanding what's going on. Um, I've had several parents ask, there are social stories out there about um, COVID and also about social distancing. There's some really great kind of fun videos they put out for kids on, you know, wash your hands and sing a really fun song. Um, social distancing is a really difficult concept for many of our kids because many of them either don't want to get anywhere near anybody, which is good now, or they want to run up and hug somebody or they don't understand why they can't be in contact and it's that's an abstract concept so we're doing some pre-teaching with put your arms out and keep people they can't be anywhere near your fingertips so it gives them something visual give them a guideline they understand our kids do not understand six feet away so you need to be able to give them some sort of visual i don't care if you make it a school project and you measure out six feet and you have people stand on both ends so they get an idea of what that looks like and then you could play a game who's not six feet i mean make this fun make it a learning experience i know it's a stressful time so i'm trying to shift things to being fun and that laughing is is great therapy for everybody so if you if you have to pull up an old video just so you can laugh and take a break do it if you need to do some yoga to chill out do it whatever you need to do to keep yourself balanced is really important right now because i don't care the level of the kid they sense your stress level big time they can feel it and the, their anxiety rises which makes it very difficult for the whole household so figure out don't figure out a way to do those things you need to do so that you can feel grounded and deal with the ambiguity that's going on every day of our lives believe me we feel it i mean now that you're work at home parent your teacher your caregiver your uh, therapist your everything so um be good to yourself and do what you need to do because your kiddos count on that your kiddos will never be any better than you are so if you're not well that's going to put them in a funk also and you know what the most healthy thing to do is to realize maybe you need somebody to talk to and i can tell you even though i'm struggling to, to get telehealth covered here they will cover um, mental health visits via telehealth so if you need someone to talk to and just vent sometimes you just need to yell at somebody for a while um, go ahead and do it that, that's what those services are there for many of your employers have um, eap programs that cover those things for free for you and that's why they're there everybody really wants you to be healthy and grounded we really don't know when this is going to end it's pretty ambiguous so be good to yourself and in that way you're good to your family